warehouse, mother, dad, and the whole family. Folks, one year ago this week, the Japs attacked Pearl Harbor. And yesterday, our president reported to the nation that over one million fighting Yanks will be overseas on foreign soil by the end of the month. And they thought we wouldn't fight. All America is proud of her fighting men. And tonight, one year after the war started, our Elka Seltzer National Barn Dance pays tribute to our one million boys over there. So our program tonight will be sent to our boys on all fighting fronts because several thousands of special recordings are being made of this program and sent overseas to entertain our brave soldiers, sailors, and Marines wherever they may be. We want them all to know that we're mighty, mighty proud of them and that we are doing our best to back them up here on the home front for we know it's still a hard fight and we're all in it. American spirit, all right, all right. Yes, we're marching right along together, folks, a united nation with one common goal, victory. And now here's a great big hail off holly to all our boys over there, a brand new ditty presented by Hezzy, Kenny, Frank, and Gaby, the Hoosier Hot Dog. <laughs>
Hoosier, you Hoosier, hot shots. And then, oh, we all join in that salute to our fighting lads on foreign shores. Oh, I tell you, folks, we're all out for a real all-American get-together tonight. All right, then, how about a square dance, Joe? Uh, yeah. square what do you dance? Say? Oh, well, there's, okay. there's oh, nothing more American oh, than I can think of, Lula Bell. So, start those fiddles, boys. The two soldiers join. Here we go. Archie, call it off Yankee Doodle style. Yes, yeah, man. All right. Everybody, swing your partner's face. Now, if you face, go to your place. And just like me, we was in that trace first couple of thousand. Well, folks, are these last few days before Christmas hectic ones in your home? Does it sometimes almost make your headache just to think of the things that have to be done? Well, when the hustle and the bustle makes your head really ache, or if a touch of acid indigestion or nervous indigestion is your trouble, don't forget that Alka-Seltzer can make a big difference in the way you feel. Just stop in the nearest drugstore and ask for a glass of sparkling, refreshing Alka-Seltzer at the soda fountain. Or if you're home, fix yourself a glass of Alka-Seltzer and see how quickly it can have you smiling with relief. Try it whenever a busy day of Christmas shopping or planning leaves you feeling headachey and upset. certainly rock the rafters of this old hail off with that squared-ass girls, boys. <laughs> ah, listen. Me thinks I hear the sweet twitter of songbirds up there in yon rafters. <laughs> songbirds nothing, Joe. That's our sweet potato band tuning up for Lula Bell and Scotty's song. Oh, yes, I remember now, Archie. <laughs> They're going to sing that old American folk song, Soldier, Won't You Marry Me? And here they are, folks, those two Carolina songbirds, Lula Bell and Scotty. Get rid of that charm, Dom Lily, and sing it first. All right, you start it out, fellas, and we'll hop in the summers. I don't know who gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> hop in that wind. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Play the pipe and drum. Oh, how can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I have no hat to put on? Then I wait till the hat shop she did go. Fast as she could run. Oh, I bought him a hat on the very, very best. Now, my soldier, put this on. Now, soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Where's the pipe and drum? Oh, how can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I have no shirt to put on? Well, I wait to the shirt shop she did go. Fast as she could run. Oh, I bought him a shirt on the very, very best. Now, my soldier, put this on. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Play the pipe and drum. Oh, how can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I got no socks to put on? Well, away to the sock shop she did go, fast as she could run. Oh, I bought him some socks of the very, very prettiest. Now, my soldier, get into these. <laughs> now, soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Play the pipe and drum. Well, how can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I have no shoes to put on? Well, away to the shoe shop she, she did go, fast as she could run. Oh, I bought him some shoes of the very, very best. Now, my soldier, put these on. <laughs> now, soldier, will you marry me? Put in the pipe and drum. Oh, how can I marry such a pretty girl as you when I got a wife and kids at home? You've got a wife and kids at home? I got a wife and kids at home. Golly swell. Everybody enjoyed that good old timer, I'm sure. Well, say, let's keep our party rolling along here. We, but, uh, hey, hey, what's going on back there? Our guest just got here, Joe. Oh, say, that's great, Archie. Yeah, bring him right over here, will you? Okay, Joe, right this way, fellas, over here. Well, here they are, folks, our guests of the evening. You all know them, three boys who have been favorites with radio listeners for many years. Those nitwits of the network, um, Tom, Dick, and Harry. And say, boys, now that you're here, what are you going to sing for us? Well, Joe, we're not going to be nitwits tonight. We want to do our part paying tribute to our fighting Yanks. You know, Joe, that old neighborhood gang is broken up now, and we certainly miss the boys. But we're mighty proud of them. There's no one on the corner 
of Main and Second Street, the lonesomest guy in town is a cop on the beat. The neighborhood so quiet was down at City Hall. There's a list of names inscribed upon the wall. I'm mighty proud of that old gang of mine. Wherever they may be tonight, I know they're in their function, cause each and every guy is somewhere on the ocean or somewhere in the sky. I'd stake my life on that old gang of mine. And for the sake of all anxiety, I'll bet before it's over, the whole world will be proud of that old gang of mine. Before they go, will you? Why, sure thing, oh, little Bell. One good another. tune deserves another. Yes, sir, fellas, you can't get away with just one song. Now, let's have an encore. All right, Joe. We'd like to sing the praises of some fine boys in the Air Corps. Boys you don't hear much about. Say no more, Dick. I know just who you mean, the mechanic. That's right, Joe. We call them the mechs of the Air Corps. There you are, boys. Contact. <laughs> The Army Air Force is famous, of course, and so are the men who fly. But think of the men, the enlisted, ten, no airplane can defy. We rev up the motors, we change the plugs, and all of the jets we train. We know very well what she's running, swell, you crave her up again. Oh, we are the max of the Air Force. Not to you, mud in your eye, we're the guys who make them fly. The grease ball of the Air Force. It takes a crew like me and you to keep the flames up in the blue. Freeze balls keep rolling the army. We're the vital ten, something more. You're hot on the stick when we make them tick, but you come home when the weather gets thick to the max. The grease balls of the air force. The pilots have flown and start coming home in the fire of the setting sun. Their work for the day is over, they say, while hell has just begun. But let no one say as we hammer away and replace the way or two. That anything flies in the war to its guys, it can equal the red, white, and blue. Oh, grease balls keep rolling the army. We're the vital ten of something more. You give her the gun and off you go, but just try timing a magneto like a max. The grease balls of the air. Oh. Tom, Dick, and Harry, we certainly appreciate your coming down here tonight to help us salute our boys in the service on the fighting fronts all over the world. Now, Arky? Yes, sir, Joe, something t- sells me that it's banjo time. Something sells you. Hey, she well, sure does. Uh, sold me on the idea. Something <laughs> is dead right, Arky. Well, the trumpets call front and center that patriotic picker of the silver strings, Eddie Peabody, the banjo king. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Kelly. Tonight I've cooked up a special patriotic dish on the old banjo. I hope you like I'm going to ask the Dinning sisters to lend a hand during the cooking. The special ingredients call for Yankee Doodle Boy, Gobs of Love, and Stars and Stripes Forever. Here we go, Glenn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sure enough, a patriotic bouquet of melody. And thanks to you, Denning Sisters, for a fine vocal contribution. And now, folks, here's Jack Holden to tell you an easy and economical way to take your vitamins these days. Yes, friends, it is easy to be sure you get a generous amount of all the B vitamins daily. Just take a single one-a-day brand vitamin B complex tablet every day. You see, each one-a-day tablet is so high in vitamin content that a single tablet supplies the average person's full minimum daily requirements of all the B-complex vitamins whose requirements have been established. Yet, in spite of their unusually high vitamin content, one-a-day tablets are mighty low in price, just slightly more than 17 cents a week when you buy the large economy size package. So remember, for real convenience and genuine economy, ask for one-a-day brand vitamin B complex tablets made by Miles. And also remember to ask your druggist for one-a-day brand vitamin A and D tablets, too, because you'll need their protective benefits during the long, hard winter months ahead. One-a-day is the registered trademark of Miles Laboratories. So just to be sure you get the genuine one-a-day brand made by Miles, look for the big one on the package. Here's a brand new Johnny Doughboy romance, folks, right from Erin, 3,121 miles away. And here are those cute Dinning sisters to sing it. Somebody got a letter, just a simple little note. Somebody's feeling better, I'll tell you what I wrote. Darling, you're way out in Ireland. I am here in the USA, 3,121 miles away. You're so far from yours in my land, and I miss you more every day. 3,121 miles away. There'll be lots of other gals falling for the rogue's eyes of blue. But it doesn't worry me, for I'm sure that you will be so true. I'm enclosing all my love, dear, and I pray that you're all okay. 3,121 miles away. There'll be lots of other gals falling for the drug is eyes of blue. I'm enclosing all my love here, and I pray that you're all okay. 3,121 miles away. That 
little old damn Cupid is working overtime with our armed forces, didn't he, sisters? <laughs> hey, Joe. Yeah, Hezzy. Did you know that we brought a new girl to the party here tonight? Why, no, Hezzy. Who is she? Oh, boy, wait till you see her, Joe. It's Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd sure like to meet her, Hezzy. And here she is, folks, escorted by those four romantic Romeos, the Who's Your Hot Shot. those hot rivets. Yeah, yeah, Let's go. yeah. yeah. <laughs> We certainly enjoyed meeting Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> but seriously, that tune was a swell salute to all the many thousands of American women who are doing their share in the nation's war industry. And now, friends, to each and every one of our boys in the service, wherever they may be, here's a thought and a prayer from every American heart.
Say, listen, friends, is a miserable cold keeping you from getting the pleasure you should out of your preparations for Christmas? Well, if it is, here's a mighty effective way to get comforting relief for much of your cold distress. Take care of yourself. Get as much rest as possible. Eat sensibly, dress wisely, and take Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer offers a kind of prompt, pleasant relief for the dull, achy feeling of a cold that's mighty hard to beat. And use it as a gargle, too, if a sore throat is a part of your cold misery. Be sure to have an ample supply of Alka-Seltzer on hand during the holidays. You can get Alka-Seltzer, you know, at any drugstore in either the 30 or the 60 cent size package. Thanks for joining our party tonight, folks. And don't forget, you're all invited to join us again next Saturday night when we're going to have a happy Christmas party here in the old hayloft. So until next Saturday, then, this is Joe Kelly saying good night and good health to you all for Alka-Seltzer. The Alka-Seltzer National Farm Dance has come to you from the stage of the Civic Theater and station WLS in Chicago. This is the National Broadcasting Company. WLS Chicago.